On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring updates to the Work tab in QuickBooks Online Accountant that make it easier and faster to use. Hey, Bro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Caitlin for a demo of the Work tab. Caitlin, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. And I'm excited to demo um, the changes we're making and the enhancements we're making to the Work tab in QuickBooks Online Accountant. I'm gonna jump right in. So when you log in to your QBOA account, first thing you'll wanna do is navigate to the Work tab. Here you'll notice that there's a Projects tab and an All Tasks tab. I've already populated some projects to kind of simulate what it would look like. You can see all your projects. I have completed ones. I have ones that are to do. You can also see the number of tasks that are completed in each project. We have lots of different filters to help you narrow on where you wanna focus. So you can start with, you can filter by clients, due date, you could do custom due dates, the statuses and whom it is assigned to. So if you just wanna know who's assigned, the work assigned to you or a particular employee, you're able to do that. If I only care about what I have yet to do, I can filter by that and get rid of any noise. I want to create or I want to like look deeper into one of these projects and understand what tasks have left. When I click into it, you'll land on what we call the project details page. It has sort of key information about the project up top. You can see all the tasks associated with it. If you want to mark them as complete, you can. But this is also where you can manage all the details about this project. You can edit the series, the instance. You can add tasks again to the series or the instance, as well as edit or delete tasks. If you want to create a new project, you're able to do that from a template. You can create your own template. I'm not going to, I'm just going to quickly go over it. So if we collect client onboarding, you can assign it to a client and whatever staff member, pick a due date. You can also make these recurring and set up a recurring schedule. But once I hit save, go and we'll see all the tasks. The other great thing is we have this all tasks tab. So, you know, it's not just the projects that matter, but the individual tasks and when they're due. So this, again, with very similar filters, you're able to filter to understand what individual pieces of work need to be done on any given day. We also have the ability to add tasks. So you can add standalone tasks that if you just need to Submit your timesheet. You can assign it to me and say it's for the firm. You don't have to attach it to a project. You can if you want and set that reminder for yourself as well. And then we'll see the task show up there. And that was our quick demo of the enhancements to work tab. I will note that for people using the existing experience, you will be able to move between the two. So we're not gonna suddenly flip the switch and force you to learn something. You'll have time to learn um, and we won't disrupt your processes. Thank you. Caitlin, thank you so much for that walkthrough of the work tab. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me recap now with the fast facts. The Work tab is available to all accountants who have a QuickBooks Online Accountant account. These updates will be live in January of 2025 across all regions. That's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our In The Know Hub and be sure to register for the live monthly webinar. We'll catch you next time.